Kids, tonight I'm going to talk about Margaret Cho's PMS on Twitter. So recently I just got Twitter and I started following Margaret Cho because every good homosexual must follow Margaret Cho. If you don't follow Margaret Cho, you're going against the gay code. I'm just saying. Just saying. you got to follow her everywhere. And particularly follow her with your money. In other words, go to her shows, pay the premium price for the good tickets, etc., etc., because Margaret Cho's worth it. Just, we got to go out of that. But, so when she's going to Jacksonville on, on June 29th, Margaret, you see this mohawk baby? I'll be sitting front row center, in the front row, in the center. So don't do your show over to the side. Sit, go back to the center, just like you did when you were, when I saw you in Tampa many, many, many moons ago. Anyway, Margaret, I loved your rants on Twitter the other day. I had such a good time. Now, you have to understand, I'm a sensitive, so when people type stuff, I get visions. So shit was flying out of the, out of the, the computer at me. I mean, you were throwing chairs and tables and whips and chains and everything. I got so hot I had to go put on my leather. Then as you calmed down a little bit, I thought, well, shit, let me go put on my moo, -moo and get comfortable. It was fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So, I just wanted to give you a shout out personally and say, Margaret Cho, no matter what kind of mood you're in, girl, you are entertainment plus. And I know you're a real person, and I know that what you do on stage is your art. And I know that sometimes Twitter just gets a little too real for some of your fans. But for me, I loved it, girl. Loved it. Gave me a reason to get dressed up. Because I live in the country, honey. So I'm, fly I'm driving three hours to see ass in Jacksonville. And I'm looking forward to it. So, hope you're feeling better. And um, I will see you soon.